Right, so we now need to power tap 36 holes in tool holders. And I've set the position correctly. Okay, the next hole is 14.3 millimetres.
Right, so we're now at the power tapping stage. And I've got the VSD torque set down quite low so that it will stall rather than skid or break the tap. So we have a safe edge on the file. Right here we're just putting a, <clears throat> a very slight lead in on that edge there and that edge there where it drops into the tool holder <clears throat> so that it drops in more easily and doesn't bind on that edge because I've got quite a tight fit between there and there and it could have been a little more generous
Right, so we've uh, <coughs> washed all the parts with um, hot soapy water and now I'm going to degrease with, with some brake cleaner and then we'll start the, uh, the bluing process. Okay, we're now, <coughs> we're now at the bluing process. I'm trying to work around the camera. The blue that I'm using is this uh, Brownells Gun Blue, which I had for many, 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 many years. I think I've, yeah, it's got a, still got a price on it, ten dollars fifty. In fact, it's so old that it's um, crystallised out. However, it still works very, very well. <clears throat> so these parts have been degreased um, as well as can be expected with soapy water and brake clean. And because I don't have much of this, I'm being a little um, sparing with it and I find it works best when you continue to rub. Now if it's not taking like it is there that means it's still a little greasy and giving it a scrub with a piece of scotch bright um, solves the problem. As you can see. And you can see it's a bit patchy here because it's a little bit greasy, so giving it a, a good rub with some Scotch Bright. stuff this is working fairly slowly because I've actually diluted the um, the blue with water I don't want to run out and if I used if I wasn't so miserable mean with it it would work a lot quicker And yes, yes, I know, I should be wearing gloves, but I've been doing this for many, many, many years and haven't been poisoned yet. Just make sure you wash your hands before you eat. Now you can see that it's because the liquid is pooling on the surface there that it's still a bit greasy and that's why it's not taking properly just there. And it does last um, very well, particularly when when it's always um, got an oily, an oily layer on it. It's not quite as rust resistant as proper hot glue. But uh, because it's a lathe tool, it will always have oil on it. So it will stay in the blackened state for quite a few years. Certainly see me out anyway. And we'll have a look at the ends. A couple of patches there. There's a patch there you can see where it's a bit greasy. Very hard to get rid of the last vestiges of oil. I mean, these have been washed in hot, hot water with detergent, and then sprayed and rubbed with brake cleaner. And there's still a bit of oil there. Well at this point um, I soak them in hot water because we don't want to leave the blacking compound in the metal because it, is, it does corrode very slowly so I'll soak them in hot water 
wash them in hot water and then oil them straight away. Right, so here's a new one here. All the Scotch Bright does is um, let the bluing compound get underneath the grease layer. And you can see it's got rid of those patches there quite nicely. This is not as good as hot bluing, but it certainly beats a shiny finish as compared with that. I'm just going to get them oiled here before they go rusty because they're out of the hot water and you can see surfaces that dry, as soon as they dry they rust. Right, well it's almost over, all over by the shouting, so we've um, finished bluing these, they've had a good uh, soak in hot water, I've uh, oiled them all, and we've Loctited in uh, this 516 grub screw, um, upside down, so the, the grub screw is, um, these are in blind holes, and the, um, the Allen key end is downwards, and I've turned each one on the lathe so that the top surface uh, is nice and flat and I'll come to the reason for that in a in a second um, the original commercial uh, tool holders use these square headed um, screws I'm having trouble sourcing those in New Zealand so we've decided to run with, um, with hex uh, grub screws and there is a good selection of grub screws available in all sorts of lengths and grub screws are quite convenient to use <coughs> So uh, we're using a half inch grub screw in the height adjuster in place of the um, square headed screw and we're using one inch uh, screws in each of these holes and what I'm going to do is turn each of the <coughs> screws flat, uh, flat on the end in the lathe because that end there will be bearing on the tool and because they're grub, grub screws, they're designed to grip and some of these screws have got a, a bit of a sharp end on them so I'm going to put them in the lathe and just take that, um, take, make that end flat so we don't damage the, uh, the lathe tools. So I'll do that off camera and I'll be back shortly. I'm trying to work around the camera here.
black objects are hard to film at night with artificial lighting. down I see And look at that, we've got the right number of grub screws. I was going to reuse these ones with a larger, larger head, but it just gave me a little less room on the top of the tool holder, and also it meant a bigger Allen key to adjust them. So we decided on the grub screws rather than cap screws. Right, well, so I suppose the next thing is to see whether they fit on the lathe. this tool. So I don't know what this tool is, it's a right hand knife tool of some sort. Not sure where it came from. And a collection of tools that I've got. nicely. And that little chamfer that I uh, milled in before is this chamfer at this end just here so that it drops over that square nicely. Before that it um, would tend to jam. Okay well it's been a lot of uh, a lot of hard work and quite laborious but uh, well worthwhile. These, uh, <laughs> these tools are quite expensive. Um, it's probably cost twice as much to uh, to make them as it would have cost to buy them, but it's been a uh, a good exercise. Thanks for watching, guys.